morning guys today we are here to celebrate or lament depending on the way you want to look at it 18 months on the Dave Ramsey plan <laughs> we have been suffering through this plan for 18 very long months and surprisingly it feels like it has gone pretty quickly why is the color on this so icky? Maybe because there's no sun out. Okay. <laughs> Just, light. Just turn the light on. Professional lighting. <laughs> that's, that's high quality lighting there. <laughs> so now he's turned on the flashlight. It's not that dark out. Professional lighting. It's actually pretty pretty bright out. It's just one of those overcast, gray, dreary days. Kind of like how I feel about 18 months on the Dave Ramsey plan, actually. So, what have we learned? Well, we have been in this 18 month so far journey that's going to be like 18 years. Hmm. Um, Pure brilliance coming out of this man this morning. still nothing <laughs> so what have you learned that your wife always handles the finances and you just have to sit there and take it but I, I knew that way before the day range plan <laughs> uh, we I just thought? passed my favorite house <laughs> Dude, it's too early for you to ask me questions <laughs> I haven't even had a complete like you're on your third cup of coffee. Oh, Don't even God. try. I will tell you what I have learned on the Dave Ramsey plan in 18 months. That I can screw up the most simple budget ever. Things will come up all the time that you are not planning on. And you have to have a way to put those things into your budget without completely screwing up your budget. Does that make sense? It really is kind of early. Yesterday, we had something come up. Our neighborhood does the, um, what's it? Booing. Our neighborhood does booing. I don't know. Do it, Have any of y'all heard it? Basically, it started by um, one person in the neighborhood, and they take a pumpkin, like, you know, like a trick-or-treating pumpkin that you fill with candy or whatever. And they put candy and toys, just little cheap stuff, but it's probably about 20 bucks. And um, they fill up two of those and put them on the front doorstep of two people in the neighborhood. And then those two people put two on other people's and then it goes throughout the whole neighborhood. So we got booed yesterday and that was not planned in the budget. So it actually worked out really well because we had already bought our candy for Halloween and we always do some little toys and treats for kids that maybe can't have sugar or whatever. Um, so we were able to fill up those pumpkins and then my mom actually ran out and got some items from like the Target dollar bin or the Dollar Tree or something like that. And, and so we were able to do that, but had we not been already ready for Halloween, that would have been out of our budget. So that is probably the biggest thing is to, you always need to have some sort of cushion in your budget so you don't screw up. This is how much money we have paid off to date. Next week, I'm going to be starting a series every month where we detail our debts and how we are doing paying off our debts every month. So look forward to that so you can see exactly where all our debts are and how much we have left and how much we are paying every month to each one of them. Rizio, you've now had seven minutes to think about it. What have you learned in 18 months on Dave Ramsey plan? Actually, um, what, uh, what you just said about uh, emergencies, that is just you always have to plan for those, man. There's always going to be emergencies. Always, always. There's little stuff that you didn't plan on, like like booing thing that uh, is always going to screw your budget. And, you know, it's just, just always stuff, regardless. And it doesn't matter how well you plan your budget. There's always stuff that's going to come up. So just leave room in your budget for this stuff you know you always have like we have like how much a hundred for uh unexpected stuff but um holy cow he pays attention 
Okay, I'm done. <laughs> so, um, um, that, so you see, a hundred sometimes is not enough. I mean, it's for us because our emergencies freaking always happen to be thousands of dollars. Yeah, a thousand dollar emergency fund. Really, we we were talking about this the other day that a thousand dollar emergency fund really is not enough for us because if we have an emergency, we can probably cash flow a thousand dollars. But um, but that's what we have because that's what the program recommends. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we will not have a thousand dollar emergency. So what are some of the other things that we've learned in 18 months on the program? Where your money goes. It's only until you really pay attention and do a budget is when you realize how much money you're going out and, and like little stuff, like getting a coffee every day at Starbucks, how much that is at the end, how much, how much money is coming out of your pocket for coffees every day. Like, yeah, I remember when we lived in Mexico and you would get Starbucks in the morning, Starbucks in the afternoon, and I would get Starbucks in the morning. And recently I tallied up how much we were spending at Starbucks and it was several thousand dollars a year that we were spending at Starbucks but we were just blindly spending the money and you know you really pay attention to your spending is when you realize well holy cow you know um, this much money goes you know into whatever 7-eleven it's little stuff you know that you do that is one of the biggest things that, that you don't realize and we used to spend ridiculous amounts on groceries. I would say our groceries, oh, yeah. we would spend upwards of a thousand dollars a month on groceries because we didn't meal prep, we had no plan, so we always would buy stuff and like I would come up with meals. We haven't done that in a long time, but um, yeah, that that was shocking to me is how much we were spending on groceries. And I still, I would say our grocery budget is probably the upper end of what most Dave Ramsey's people spend. We we do still spend quite a bit on groceries, um, but that's that's a personal choice for us. We like to we would prefer to go without new clothes and spend more in groceries. There we go. So I'm having a conversation with my phone and not recording. So, stop it. So one of the things I wanted to mention to y'all real quick is that... Dude, you know, we have this thing that's called work. Let me finish. So I was watching a video the other day um, from One Big Happy and she, they were talking about how you shouldn't compare yourselves to other people and I am horrible about that I admit it I I kind of judge myself a lot based off what other people do and I will tell you oh, God, I'm gonna kill him one of the really 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 important things to remember is that when people are paying off high amounts of debt they have either sold something or they have larger incomes so when you see people making, you know, six, seven, eight thousand dollar payments a month to debt, you know, try not if you're not in that financial situation, try not to compare yourself. And I realize it's hard. I do it. But you know, it it is what it is. You know, people you you have to look at like overall debt percentages because look at our debt to income ratio. It's pretty solid and it's pretty on par with most of the rest of the Dave Ramsey YouTubers. It's just a lot of debt. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one, and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So, I'll see you in the next one. See ya!